Hello everyone from my channel and I cannot believe we're actually doing this but today we are on the subject of serious topics and today's serious topic is racism. Well let me introduce myself first for the people that are new here and are interested in this topic. My name is Gally. I am a 24 year old woman from the Netherlands. My dad is uh, Javaans which is an island in Asia, which results me into having a little bit of a darker skin than most, well, fully born Dutch people do. They are white people, of course. Well, I did not think I would have ever have to touch this topic because it's such a serious topic. But with what is happening right now here in the Netherlands, I think I do need to touch it because what is going on, guys? Like. Huh. So I was like on Twitter scrolling, doing my thing, when I suddenly saw the topic of our Dutch tradition called Sinterklaas. Most people know Sinterklaas in uh, English as Saint Nicholas. Well, as most people know, Saint Nicholas is like a tradition where we get like our favorite Dutch treat called paper note we give our, uh, each other presents it's all like at the 5th and 6th of december it's mostly a children's celebration like children believe that this saint nicholas is real and that those uh black peats exist however of course it's a very controversial topic because black peats are basically people who f paint their face black. Well, we all heard of blackface, of course, on the internet. Blackface is where white people try to pretend to be black people. So, well, with our tradition, it's kind of the same thing. However, it does have a little bit of history, of course, behind it, because the people that originally did this were actually dark tint or dark skinned people. So to set forth the uh, tradition, white people now put their face into black paint. Yeah, that sounds like bad as it is. And of course, with that, it became a very controversial topic in 2010. And ever since it had been going on. Well, yeah, that's definitely an issue. And I can like understand the people with it. But on Twitter, it's like this big thing right now after an attack in Berlin happened. Because a car hit people in Berlin. So we all know that the car drove into uh, a crowd in Berlin, killed some people. I think killed some people. I'm not sure if they, yeah, killed a teacher and injured 14 children. And due to that, uh, it caused some discussion because apparently this person had psychological problems. But most importantly for the people apparently around it, he believed in a religion called the Islam. Now we all know Islam is a kind of Muslim thing around Syria and Turkey, the Arabic, most Arabic countries. So we all know that's a thing, but in my country it's quite controversial. Cause my country portrays Islam as it's the most bad thing ever happened to my country. And anytime I see the street I just get so outraged. Cause I met a lot of people who believe in the Islam, who are amazing, want to pay taxes, work super hard to um, like be introduced into the Dutch society, Dutch celebrations and such. So there are a lot of people who are like willing to be part of our community, be part of being Dutch. And it's just such a struggle to see how this is going on. So I took some screenshots from Twitter to actually discuss this topic a bit more. Cause I, when I was a child, just when I was a child, you have to know like, I'm born in the Netherlands. To be exact, I'm born in Groningen. Yes, I'm a Groen. <laughs> so yes, I'm born in Groningen. My mom is Dutch. And still, as a 
child I can't call it a dirty black peat or a Chinese with ching chong or an Indian like whoa, 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 whoa. and it hurt me a lot because I didn't know exactly who I was back then because I did not have a dad and my dad was not clear who my dad was so I didn't know where I was from and so it's and also it just hurt me because I was called a dirty kind of black I wasn't pretty I was different and it hurt me a lot as a child nowadays it doesn't but I realized if I went onto a bus going towards school there were these um, anti-maskers and they didn't want to put on a mask and I said like hey I'm a teenager I totally understand your situation but I have a mask on too you know well teenager young adult and they were like well you stupid n-word and all that kind of stuff like they couldn't even figure out what race I am so but I got a lot of things thrown at me from another Dutch person. I was like, um, I'm born in the Netherlands too. I lived in my Italy. They were like, yeah, you're a dirty refugee. Go back to your own country. And I was like, I'm born here. Like, literally, what have I done wrong? So let's discuss this topic a bit more. So the first image over here. More clear than this, it cannot be. Hashtag umfolking. So basically this picture is like 1966, it shows our Dutch people. And to the Sefi, it shows people that believe in Islam and wear the hijab. I'm sorry if I say it wrong in English, I am Dutch. <laughs> but this is basically like showing like uh, Netherlands, what happened to you and such like. Yeah, I agree. We are taking a lot of refugees from other countries here right now. And our refugee centers where we... Well, I don't want to say put, but where we foster, put these refugees are literally full. To the point where people have to sleep on chairs. But I find this image quite annoying. Because it's basically saying like, oh, look at you. You have so much different culture now, you're not Dutch anymore. Well, these people want to be Dutch too. I mean, they're literally at our one of our weekly markets buying cheese probably so what are we to judge yeah exactly so things like this um this is done by the person over there i don't approve of it because we're still from the netherlands and the people are trying to learn dutch you know what you can do go to new dutch connections it's a uh, well I want to say facility worker, but that's not what I mean. Um, they help people that speak Arabic and came from these very dangerous countries to speak Dutch, find work here, find an education and probably find a home. So go to new disconnections and instead of complaining about how our country is getting colonized with different cultures, you can go to new Dutch connection be an employee there and help people out with their Dutch. They need these connections and they are very grateful people. So let's discuss image number two. Image number two over here, um, I have to go a bit on the side. Let me go a bit on the side here. <laughs> you see over here at a stop thingy at the lights, a group of very beautiful Islam women with a child and this person says like, oh no, you cannot say this anymore because they are taking over our own country. So, and someone literally calls them penguins. Do I need to explain myself how much of a racist man that is? Penguins. You call Islam woman, very beautiful woman with children that were wearing the hijab. Penguins. And you're a gosh damn adult. Not even a teenager. Not even a child. You're acting like one. But you're a gosh damn adult. So Marcus over here. Shut up. Stay woke. No joking. I'm not kind of the woke person. But like stay civilized. These people deserve 
just as much of respect as you do. These people belong just as much to our country as you do. These people are willing to pay taxes just as much as you are. They're finding a job, they're helping out. Also for the people that are saying like, oh, but Dutch women don't have time to go over the market. Well, did you ever think that maybe the males are the ones getting an income right now? And the women are there to take care of their young children and help the young children out of their daily lives and clean the house? Sure, sounds very old, but at some households it works. Just like some white women stay at home to take care of the children, so do some Islam women. Very normal. So Marcus over there, please don't call them penguins. They deserve way more respect than that. So let's go to image hashtag three. Boom. So this is a person is, um, as you see, he made a picture of three women in hijab. And they wear very nice colorful outfits. I love the person in the green and, um, well, badge kind of hijab, but uh, I think she's calling too. So this person, Harm Reitsma, is saying uh, like, oh, we um, like forbid our own culture because right now uh, things like Black Pete are currently forbidden due to it being racism. And um, so he's complaining like how we um, tell people to have a nice Ramadan, but that our Eastern Pinkster and Xmas is getting forgotten, which is actually never the case. Because I have an Arabic uh, room, uh, roommate, uh, well, classmate, a serious classmate. She's not that good at um, Dutch yet. But she is an amazing, hardworking woman and gets two educations at the same time, by the way. So, who am I to judge? Because I got one. And uh, they are like, oh, and the uh, um, hijab is uh, accepted in democration and such, but this and this is not. So, they're basically just complaining about these women wearing hijab and the Ramadan being an I issue for them. But I don't agree with this tweet at all. Our cultures like Eastern and Xmas are totally not forgotten. We talk about them. And even these women probably talk about them. Because they are big happenings in our country. There are a lot of discounts and all that kind of stuff. And it's not just a random thing or such. But this person does need to realize that this has nothing to do with being from another country. It has to do with like your beliefs and such. Cause I celebrate Eastern, but not religiously. I celebrate Eastern to paint eggs. I love to paint eggs because I'm creative. I, I don't celebrate uh, what they call pinkster. I don't know how to say it in English, but I don't celebrate that. I don't even know most of the part actually what it means. I think it's about something like Jesus ascending to heaven. And Xmas, well, I don't really celebrate it, but I celebrate it with people at my household. But if I live on my own, I have no interest in Christmas. I have always hated Christmas. So like, it has nothing to do with like, who you are as a person or where you're from. It has to do more with your beliefs or if you want to celebrate it or not. You know? So I don't get this post at all. So let's go to the next image. While I'm actually discussing this with you guys, some people are actually tagging me right now on Twitter to discuss this serious topic with me. So I will read this response afterwards. So uh, we just showed this one. Let's go over here. Terry, there's something weird. Why do all these um, refugees want uh, to come here? And he says like, they're not coming to work. They are only parasites in our pockets. They are not here because uh, uh, of anything. They want to push the Islam on us. So it basically... Um, say something like the 
government wants to destroy the Netherlands and so it's but like I get that you get mad on the government sure our government can be a totally pain in the butt but what does it have to do with people that come from an unsafe country trying to be safe and get a job again and I love how they say like they're not here to work sweetie I met someone that was part of the government in freaking Iraq is how we say it I guess Iraq Syria all that kind of stuff somewhere there and he came here with nothing no place no job and he now has to work as a painter or something like that because he doesn't have a degree for here there are women men teens over there that had a better job but had to leave their country because they were unsafe they were probably going to die that come here to start an entire new life they are willing to work as much as us they are willing to work for an apartment just as much as we are but you're over here judging that they don't want to work I'm gonna tell you something. You should maybe look into new Dutch connections. It's like an ad right now. But due to do new Dutch connections, I heard stories, met people from these dangerous places, and connected with them, and learned how much they are struggling with this life. They just want everything just as much as we are. My roommate works at New Dutch Connections and she helps out with Dutch lessons and all that kind of stuff because it takes too long for the government to actually allow those to happen. So she helps out with Dutch lessons, helps out finding houses together, what they can afford, what they cannot afford and such. I can genuinely not believe that you are here to judge. You're not in their position. And I'm telling you, you are definitely not. Imagine, you are in your country. You are a high-end doctor. You know, you got the best of degrees, studied for them, put money and time in them. You just got the best life ever, you know, regarding that. You have a house, you have children, a beautiful wife, and you're a high-end doctor with several degrees. And people love you for what you did but suddenly a war breaks out bombs guns people that burst into your home or loved ones that you lose due to this a war breaks out and you your children and your wife are escaping going to the other side of the world now I want you to listen you go to that uh, land you go into our country and the first thing you hear is you have to wait on a list you have to stay outside you cannot come into here yet and then you can finally go into one of those facilities you don't have a job you don't have your degrees because degrees from other countries don't count in our country you can do nothing you have to start all over again. Those years that you studied, almost died due to studying probably, and worked so hard to get the super high position, they are all gone, simply because of a war. So please, don't judge a person based on where they are from. Judge them on their achievements. You know, sure. Of course, there are some people that come here and that want fancy land. But there are genuine people that want to work hard and pay taxes. So, stop judging regarding that. So that was image number... I don't even know the number anymore. So, my last image over here is this one. As I said, um... Uh, I hate mentioning this. So in Berlin, you know someone with problems and all that kind of stuff a man 29 of age 
drived into a crowd in Berlin. So basically what this tweet is saying like uh, that maybe this person has to sleep on a chair. So right now this is a kind of joke in the Netherlands. Because people in a place nearby me have to sleep on chairs because we don't have enough sleeping places to for these refugees. Uh, this person is like maybe he has uh, problems with thinking for free house and money. Most of them don't get a free house and money. Genuinely they don't. Most of them work for a tomb and they cannot even get what we call a stufi. And a stufi is money to be able to attend an education. And they are uh, saying like, or is he is a person from the Islam. They like blood and, well, just hurting people. You know, <sighs> the fact that I have to say these kind of things quite hurts. Because this is the country I'm born in. Yes. And I always hear, oh, you're such a good country. You barely have any racism. The police are always so nice to avoid everyone. But this is the racism I'm talking about. And it's just not temporarily the racism. But it happens to children too. Being called names ever since you were young, even though you're born in the Netherlands. Having parents say they don't want your children to like talk to you or play with you. And not just for the adults, but also for the children and the teens. Every single thing about my country has some racism in it. I sometimes notice when getting a job, because my first name is very, very not Dutch. My last name is, but my first name is not. Which sometimes cause issues. I had one job say, like, hey, we're not going to hire you because you seem like a refugee and blah 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 blah. I was like okay then I could sue you for this but I did not find the effort in that because I am a student and I can focus on better stuff. And these kind of comments just hurt a lot like you cannot judge a person on based on their religion. Do I have to judge you on being Christian? Do I have to tell you what they did in the Bible to most of the people in there? How they even allow, allow the touching of children back then and such. Like I can just on Christian religion, Islam, Buddhism, Greeks, I don't freaking care. I could judge on everyone, but why would do that? Why would I do that? It's not about the religion they follow, it's about the person itself and the heart. So when are people going to learn this? So I told you guys I will get into the juicy stuff. So let's scream my share. Scream my share, huh? Share screen my screen. <laughs> so let me add that to the video right now. We're going to display capture. At source, yes. Ooh, fancy. So we're going actually into here because I did some judgments right now. Okay, so... Um, Exactly, so. I have to agree with these ones, because basically there is an... Uh, uh. So, this person is like, you don't know what to uh, be on your side, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to uh, choose. Oh, he's saying that on them. But uh, this person is like saying like, um, you don't know which side to pick, go back to blah, 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 uh, and uh, look at the white people, blah, blah, blah. So this person is basically like the same, um, also double blood, you know, like they are double blood. And uh, this person is like, you say that you're double blood, look at people with color and uh, look at uh, what they think. I protect nothing. I but so basically this person is already being racist so basically they're saying like well would look at the white people because they um deserve stuff too which annoys me already oh that's it i cannot believe that i have to discuss these kinds of serious topics
No, but it's like a genuine serious thing right now in my country. And Twitter is just full of these racist comments. And it's quite hurtful because they're blaming it on a religion. They're blaming it on where the people are coming from. Because I have to say, when everyone knows about the war with Russland and Ukraine. And when Ukraine needed a place, you know what people in my country said? Oh, you know, we got free places in my house. Why don't you come there? We can give you food. We can provide for you. But when it comes to people from Arabic countries, like Syria and, and all that kind of stuff, it's like, no, go into that ref refugee center. Go sleep on a stool. You don't deserve to be here. And that's... Well, ladies and gentlemen, is what we do not do in this channel. We stand for equality, love, LGBTQ, <laughs> and much more. So, I wanted to touch this subject, and I hope you guys don't mind me touching this subject, because I thought it was a very serious topic. And it needed to be discussed, because my country is fucking dense. And that's why I hate living here, but I, I don't know what country else to go to right now. Uh, where I want to go to, which is Japan, it's quite expensive. Or Korea, which is also quite expensive. So I'm stuck in this country, for now. But absolutely dislike the racism that's going on. Also, you will find people in my comments from the Netherlands saying... Go back to your own country. Or. Things like. Well if you want to go to another land. Just do it. Okay. Just like that. Or they will discuss entirely about the Black Pete stuff. It's not racist. We're just facing up, uh, painting our face black. Like we're black people. Yeah. You will find that kind of people in my. Comment section. Anytime soon. If there are Dutch people even on this channel, or this video gets fined by a Dutch racist person. If you see them, feel free to call me cheese. And just don't say anything. That's basically like the only kind of culture we have. Cheese, milk and bikes. Oh, well, we got those weird shoes, but we don't actually wear them. But you guys always think we wear them. Also, if you're going to guess my uh, city. No, it's not Amsterdam. We have more City said that. Okay, with that being said, thank you for listening to my serious topic. I'll see you guys later. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Did you ever do it? I don't see it yet. Come on. <gasps> Finally, you like to subscribe. Well, thank you very much, and bye bye.